Hey everyone, today is May 3rd, 2023, and we're up in northern Maine. The road I just pulled into was not plowed this year, not logged over the winter. It was just for snowmobiles. Couldn't go down there this year. This area had a big old blowdown. There's going to be a lot of debris in this road. You can definitely tell people have been driving down here, but I don't think they're using it for anything at the moment until mud season is over. Around in the woods, there's still a lot of snow. All the lakes around here in northern Maine are still frozen. Because this area, in this climate, they only have three months of growing season. Typically from June 15th to the middle of September. All right, everyone, I just got out of the vehicle again. Just want to take a look at this pipe. There's probably nothing wrong. Just want to see why it's building up a little bit. See what we got here. I don't think we have to get out the big high boots or anything. Now, there is a little bit of a blockage. Look at all that foam just getting sucked in there. This is a plastic pipe. It's just the grass getting stuck in there. All the dead grass breaking free as the flood waters come by. We just open that up. And this little pool is probably going to drop back a few inches. Yeah, we got that thing nice and open. And all that foam just disappeared into there. I remember a few years back, we had an issue like this that was actually backing up the whole pipe. You see, as the water comes out, especially in the summertime when this aquatic grass is near the end of the pipe, it can keep kind of building itself up higher and higher over the years and cause it to back up the grass itself. The best example was that nasty orange culvert pipe unclogging, if you ever saw that. As I was breaking down the wall of grass, it released a giant wall of bright orange iron oxidizing bacteria into the river it was dumping in. Right here, gotta go really slow. This is pretty deep snow on the road. Amazingly, there's zero in the woods. That's because in the woods, a lot of the snow doesn't actually get down to the ground. It just melts up inside the trees. But right there, it's so densely packed because these are all used by snowmobiles when the roads are closed. Really nice sunset happening. Does anyone remember this section of road? We were here back in December and it was below zero the night we were sleeping out here. This beaver pond was completely frozen over with a couple inches and as we were unclogging it, the water started dropping and it was cracking like crazy. And what was cool about it was when we opened the culvert, a big gush of muddy water came out over pure white snow this nasty water it just looked so cool but i think we have another unclogging today because as soon as the water is clear of ice that's when beavers potentially start building they're most accurate in the summer when it's warm but they will get going right away just like we determined back in the winter time this is a secondary pond you see how the road goes around the sharp corner once it's up on that hill you can see there's a much bigger pond back there held up by another dam. So dropping this, beavers won't even notice until they come to do maintenance on their secondary pond. Well, you can see right here, there's a pretty solid beaver blockage right there. So I'm going to finally put on some boots, even though I don't think I'm really going in the water. And we'll get camera number two out, see what's going on. Oh, that, that's nice to see. Some moose tracks. Those guys every year are becoming more and more rare up here. I used to travel on these roads in the dusk hours like this. I'd see dozens of them, especially the early hours of the night. Dozens of them. Now sometimes you can go a week or two without seeing a single moose. Camera number two. <laughs> Alright everyone, camera number two is going. I got the big high boots on after all. Let's go in the water and see what we can do. I'd rather be out so I can just pull things back and forth 
works way better and faster. All of that is brand new beaver debris. Stubborn stick. That's a big one. Look at how long some of these things inside there are. All right, everyone, completely clear. How long did that take us? Like two minutes? And look at the other side. We just got so much water going. Wow, it was about two minutes. Tons of water coming out the other side. Just, just make sure nothing got stuck. We're good. The reason you see it acting like that is because there's a rock right at the bottom of it. That's why it can't come out completely smooth. Just wanted to make sure nothing got stuck against the rock where more debris could just build and build, making a harder blockage long term. You see what I mean up close? How the water's acting a little weird. Look at the amount of moose tracks in this road. I have not seen so many moose tracks in one spot in a good couple years. Just look right here. There's so many tracks. Very fresh ones too. I'm hoping in the next couple hours, because I'm going to keep driving on this road for maybe another two hours or so before I find a place to sleep. Because just because it gets dark doesn't mean I am going to stop looking for blockages and issues I can flag. Still gonna look around. So this was probably gonna drop about one foot of water because it's a secondary pond. The beavers may or may not show up tonight. Sometimes secondary ponds, I've literally seen it take a month. It depends on the beaver family. Sometimes they have dozens of them that they're maintaining. Now, if this was a primary pond, that is when they would show up almost immediately after you leave. They, they notice the drop in water no matter where they are in that pond, whether they're inside the lodge or not, they are taking notice to that immediately. And they need a pond to survive the winter. That's why if this is a primary pond, never do it when there's about to be ice on the top. But now it's spring. Even if it was their primary pond, we can take them down this time of year if it's affecting a roadway. Now... Because this is a private company, even if it was a primary pond, because it's private property, legally you could take it down. But myself, morally, I will not mess with a primary pond in the wintertime. Although some other guys who work for the company, they will. And I have showed that in the middle of winter. A giant beaver lodge out in the middle of an empty pond with all kinds of shattered ice. Usually the beaver is going to die in that situation because of predators. Without the water is not necessarily going to kill them. It's the predator issue. Also, a lot of the food that they collected was under that water. Now it's trapped by ice. Pulling over here because this is very muddy and messed up. I highly doubt we're going to see anyone else on this road tonight. So right here, we have a good amount of water, more than typical because there's still a good amount of snow melting. Zero blockage. Now the other direction, you see the drainage ditch is pretty flooded. Just want to see if there is any sort of blockage. 
there is a good amount of flow coming out of there, so probably minimal. Maybe the end of the culvert's just pushed down. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got a big plug there of grass. We got to get camera number two out for that. Now, unclogging that is not going to solve this problem. I could feel here all the way up about 100 feet is pretty soft. This is going to have to be fixed with the excavator. This ditch is going to have to be dug out nice and deep so all of this can drain back to the pipe we're about to unplug right now. Also, the ditch needs to be dug out so even if this was plugged, this water shouldn't be sitting here. It should be looking, it should be able to go to the one I just showed you. That's all clear. All right, everyone, I just stepped down into the water. It's not very deep, not deep at all. Could have done this probably with my regular boots. Oh, that's pushing it a little bit. And here's the pipe, very plugged up. It may have been the beavers. I definitely see some sticks, but it, I, I think it was just a spring thaw, just pushed a bunch of grass in. We might be able to just give it a push and it might slide all the way through. I'm just gonna give it a little push. Oh. Yeah, just push it right through. I bet that looked awesome on number two. I just heard it just go. So, what do we got there? The grass is also kind of pushed over, hanging down into it. As I rip it up, look at that, it's green underneath. This water is already, yeah, summer's coming. Still got a little bit of debris. I am, I am just beyond shocked. This is one of the smallest pipes I've ever seen out here. Like that is definitely 12 inches. They didn't even put out a 18 inch pipe like most of them. Based on just the water going in it now, this area should have like, oh, what should this area have? Maybe like two feet at least. This is dropping back very quickly. There's not much water here. This will all be gone, I would say, 10 minutes or so down to the level it will stay at. Yep. Now that the water's dropping, it is possible that the current's able to grab more grass and push it back in there. Yeah, the way it was put there, I don't think it was the beaver at all. Definitely flowing a lot better. Get down in there. Completely clear, nothing got stuck in the end. We are doing fantastic. Time to continue on my way. Even though it's getting dark, I'm not even close to being tired yet. We're gonna keep traveling out here for a while. Thanks for watching everyone, and have a great day.